friends, it's Miss Rachel here again to show you some more fun things you can do at home to keep your body strong and healthy. So today we're going to do some stuffed animal stretching and I have my trusty little narwhal friend here with me to show you how to do this. Now real fast, pause this video and go get your favorite stuffed animal. You don't want it to be too big and you actually don't want it to be too small either. Right around this size is perfect. Okay, so pause, go get your stuffed animal, and then come right back. Okay, now we're back. So, here's what we're gonna do. I know a lot of you know so many of our stretches, so go ahead and say them with me and count with me, and for my friends who have not done this with us before, just have some fun and follow along. All you have to do is copy me. So, we are gonna start with our feet together, we're gonna hold our stuffed animals up high with two hands, and we're gonna stick out our bellies. And we're gonna count to five, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Now, we're gonna keep our legs super straight, and we're gonna reach our stuffed animals down towards the floor. Now remember, friends, you don't have to go as far as I go. We want you to go as far as your body will let you go without bending your knees. So if you can only hold your stuffed animal right here without bending your knees, that's okay. But we want you to go as far as you can without bending. So I'm gonna hold my narwhal down here and let's count to five again. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, Five. All right, friends, now let's stand it back up and let's stand with our feet apart, but just a little. Remember, we don't want them too wide. We only want them about as wide as our shoulders. Now, we're gonna take our stuffed animal, we're gonna hold our wall down here by one foot, right here by one foot, and I'm gonna count to five over here. And one, two, three, four, Five. Now move that stuffed animal over to the other foot. And remember, don't bend those knees. Keep them nice and straight. If your knees look like this, that's a bent knee. Make sure that you get that knee back like that. Now, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. And now we're just gonna move them right into the middle. And again, you don't have to go as far as I go. You can hold your stuffed animal right here. Just keep those legs straight. Don't let them bend. Keep them back. All right, now let's look down and let's count to five in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's stand back up. And now we need to sit in our pike position. Now in our pike position, we keep our legs out, we keep our feet together, and again, we keep our knees down, just like this. We don't want to let our feet come up. And another thing, we don't want to let our feet come apart, like this. Our legs are like an elevator, and our feet are like the elevator doors. And we have to keep the doors closed so the people don't fall out. So, keep them closed, just like that. Keep those knees down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our stuffed animals, we're going to hold them down on top of our feet, not all the way past our toes, just right about here, and look at your knees. Get those faces down, looking right at those knees, and let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna put our stuffed animals right here. We'll let them go. Flex those feet, so bend them back towards your body. You don't wanna point them, you wanna flex them. Then you're going to grab those toes and pull them backwards and see if you can keep your stuffed animal balancing right on your ankles, right by your feet. And we're going to count to five. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Now, friends, I know it is so hard to hang on to your toes without bending your knees. So remember, it's okay to just reach those hands as far as you can while you flex those feet. Hang on to the very tippy, tippy toppers of your toes and then count. Just don't let those knees bend. Whatever you do, don't let those knees bend. Now we're gonna move into our straddle. So for our straddle, of course, we have to get those legs nice and wide. And do we wanna let our knees bend in our straddle? No way, we gotta keep them down. And again, do we wanna let our feet fall asleep in our straddle? No way! That's sleepy feet. We gotta keep our feet awake, 
the whole time. Now, we're gonna take our stuffed animals, we're gonna hold them up high again, and we're gonna lean down to one side and count to five over here. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Now take that stuffed animal for a ride and bring them all the way over to the other side of the rainbow. And let's count to five over here. And one, two, three, four, five. And now here's what you're gonna do. Put your stuffed animal in the middle, and you're going to push your stuffed animal away. Don't push it hard, because then it'll go flying. So just push it nice and slow. Keep those knees down, keep those feet away, and keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing until you can't reach anymore, and then put your head down, okay? And let's count to five in the middle. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. All right, butterfly time. So put those feet together. Put your stuffed animal right in the middle of your butterfly. Hang on to your feet and take your stuffed animal for a butterfly ride. Here we go. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Keep flapping. And then, as we know, lean down and smell those feet. How do they smell today? Are they stinky? Mine aren't too stinky. They're doing pretty good. I wonder if yours are stinky. Now, friends, let's do the last and most important thing. So move your stuffed animal. Go ahead and just sit them in your lap. And shake out your hands. And pick them up again and shake out your feet. And shake out your face. And of course, shake out the most important thing of all. And that is your chicken wings. You gotta shake out those chicken wings. Otherwise, you are not fully stretched out. All of my friends know this. Now, friends, as always, I want you to go and find someone else at your house, anybody and go show them all of these stretches. And remember, you can do these stretches and these fun exercises whenever you want. So go have fun and keep that body strong and healthy. I'll see you soon.